Hey chess lovers, welcome back to the chess yard. This is Dhaira Bagga and today I'll be playing the Feynman Blitz on Lee Chess and during the game I'll try to be as instructive as possible like always, making sure that there's something to be taken away as a learning that helps you improve your game to the next level. Now before I start with the game, I request you to subscribe to my channel and press on the bell icon so that you don't miss out on any of the videos that I'm posting up daily without a miss. So yeah, let's start with the game and see how it goes. I have got black pieces. I'll play the Karukan defense. C6, D5. Open can take or advance. So the my open is well worse. That's the most challenging line in the Karukan. Offering bishop exchange. And the best idea here is to take, but I prefer getting it back. Uh, my open didn't take. And I can proceed with a normal development now. Knight and then pawn forward, trying to break open the c file early. Knight can be played later as well because there's no defenses to this pawn already. Ah, this is interesting. Now I think I can challenge the uh, king now. First of all, a check. I have a backup as well, uh, and I should double up here. I should double up here. And if he tries to save with the bishop, then he loses the, his light square bishop. That's the challenge. So Auburn has to be careful here. And if he takes my bishop first, then also there's a threat that I'll take this first. Okay, I'll take. If he takes with the queen, that's bad news. Because I take the queen and then I win the bishop. So Auburn played well again. Now this pawn is for free. And I think I should take it. Yeah. And now he takes. And I take back. And I get uh, double pawns here. I spoil my center. But what I got in return is one extra pawn and an open edge file for the attack where my opponent would is most likely going to be castle. Okay. Knight here doesn't bother me much. I can come back if required. Or I can play pawn forward now, asking him to take. If he does take, I can take back. If he doesn't, I take back. If he moves forward, I take with either of the pawns. So let's challenge it. Because we can come back here defending checkmate if there's a threat ever. Okay, now I can develop the knight maybe. Because we can castle any time we want. Takes a pawn, trying to spoil my castling. Uh, shall I take here? Shall I let him take is the question. Now if I take, he takes with the queen and I sidestep. What's the threat? I don't know, I'll take. He has to take with the queen, no other option. I can sidestep this threat for sure. All he can do is take this pawn and nothing more than that is what I'm thinking so far. Okay, he does take. I need to safeguard my knight. And there are a few ways to save that. I can get my rook. I can get my queen. Queen is also fine. I can take on this pawn and leave my knight, but then he moves his queen somewhere, trying to checkmate me, but that doesn't work. So I should take the pawn, is my overall call, I think. Um, yes, I can. So he takes my knight and I take his rook, is my call. You can give a check again and then I move or I get to develop my knight as well. Okay, he does take. That's interesting. I'll take two. That's a check. I need to save it. Oh, now he comes with the queen, uh, bishop. And the only way I save this. I can't save this. So he'll be able to win it, but I'll take this at least. He can take back and I move aside. I'm still ahead in the game, at least for now. If I go here, then 
or I go back. Both the options available. Which one is better? I go here, he gives me a check with the bishop. Oh, and then there's troubles. So I'll go on the white, I'll not go on the dark. I can play forward, pawn forward, but then he gives a check again. So I'll go back. I think I'm okay to draw then. Now my opponent has to win from here. If he thinks he can, then he should pursue, otherwise he should take a draw. Because if I go on the black, the problem is he gives a check and then there's only one way that I go. And then he can keep his bishop anywhere, maybe take my pawn and attack my queen and I have to save this check, discover attack. So the best way going forward for me is to have a draw. Otherwise I lose my queen and that's game over. And I think that would be three, four repetition and I'll clear the, claim the draw. So why did I choose new opponent? That was by mistake. I'll just close this one about this game. So yeah, it was a nice game. I'll just try to analyze it from the computer perspective as well. That what was uh, the best option there? Not this one, sorry. I'm just trying to go back. Um, this one, second one, yeah. That's analyze because I won one rating point from it though. But was there an option that I could have won it somehow? I doubt it because starting off with e4, c6, d5, trying to develop my bishop, going backwards, trying to save it. And then I should have taken the pawn is what computer says thing, but I went with the bishop instead. He saves with the knight. I double up. He doesn't take. Okay, I took on knight. And then I took on the pawn, giving him the bishop exchange which he does take and goes forward, which was bad. I played pawn forward, asking him to take or move forward. He doesn't. And that was a nice move. And I take, he goes there, sidestep, takes back. Okay, computer is recommending you should come back with the queen and safeguard your knight and the pawn. But then again, open is pretty strong. He has castle and I don't have casting rights. My knight looks, uh, doesn't look comfortable at all. His bishop can come anytime. Uh, lots of challenges here. Um, would be a tough game to win from here. Though the computer is suggesting 1.7 only in favor of white. But I think already this is a tough game to be won from here. Especially with checks coming all over the places. And if I try to defend with the rook, attack the queen with the rook, the queen gives a check. And then I'm running maybe towards sideways, but Still, this the center pawns, I have got double pawns. Um, Open is way stronger here. So instead, I took on the pawn, trying to be aggressive. Open does take my knight. And I take back the rook. And then he tries to give me a check. So the best move for my opponent here was to play pawn forward. Because then he's threatening checkmate. If I'm not cautious. And if I then move my knight, then bishop is also coming. And how do I save this? Because if I do this, he's going to take, and that's a check again. And then I go here, and then he can proceed with the pawn. That was what my opponent could have done. But instead, he tries to take, and then I take on the pawn, then he takes. And probably almost a similar situation. But then I went ahead. And he tries to repeat here. That's also the best move for my opponent here. Because now my center pawns are stronger, and I've got two of them extra, so I can now probably deal with it. That's why it ended up as a draw, and I think both of us were happy taking it. That's why the repetition. I hope you liked the video. Do let me know your feedback. Keep watching and sharing. Do subscribe to the channel if you haven't already by now, and give a thumbs up to this video. That keeps me motivated enough to keep recording these on a daily basis. Thank you so much for your time. Take care. Bye-bye.